Hello everyone and welcome back to W Bricks. I got a really exciting video for you all here today. I wasn't expecting to see this stuff today, but wow is it cool. So the Bricklink Designer Program sets for 2024 have just released. If you're not familiar with the Bricklink De Designer Program, they have some great custom-made sets that are released uh, to tons and tons of LEGO fans. And these sets will be available next year in 2024. So today we're going to take a look at these five brand new sets. I cannot wait to show these off. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get started with this first one right here, Art of Chocolate. And it shows the designer there from Brickster. Of course, all of my information today is coming from 1414 Falcon Fan over on Instagram. Great source of information. Always got to give that dude a shout out. This is an incredible looking set. Looks like it will really, really match with your Christmas sort of winter displays. Really love this. I think it's got a great minifigure selection. I think the detail there is just unmatched on this. Basically, the Bricklink Designer Program is just a fancy Lego ideas. It's just the exact set that the fans make then becomes the set that Bricklink then produces through fan funding. So this is just an incredible set. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I'm assuming the set will probably be about a hundred, maybe $150. These sets are hard to judge on the price ranges of where they'll be just because the ranges are, are so vast. Uh, but on the secondary market, most of these sets end up going for 300 to a thousand dollars plus sealed for Bricklink designer sets. I know some of them in the past have gone well over $1,000, ones that I've looked at specifically. So this one is definitely one that will be rare. I mean, well, all of these sets will be extremely rare, guys. But if you're interested in this for your Winter Village, next October 2024 is when this is supposed to release. So, uh, or or start the funding. I don't know exactly. This is, this is still rough information, but October 2024 is when the funding for this set starts. So I assume the production will start then. So we could be seeing this next November. Crazy to be seeing stuff like this so soon, but exciting nonetheless. This is probably my least favorite of the five sets too. And this is such a good one right off the bat. So if you like this one, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite one? My favorite one personally has to go to the third and the fifth one. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you do not miss any of these sets because they are all phenomenal. So without further ado, let's get into the second image here. And here we've got the next one here, the camping adventure by the president 14. Now this is a small little one. I bet this will be about 50 bucks, but this is very, very detailed nonetheless. So let's go through all the little things here. Obviously you've got the tree on the, the left-hand side, which I, it really reminds me of the stuff that we see in the A-frame cabin. So I bet this would look terrific next to the A-frame cabin. Got a great little fire pit out there. It looks like two minifigures for this set. The little camper van sort of look there is just gorgeous. You could not have chosen better colors for a Lego camper van. And they just knocked it out of the park here with the design. I love the little base around it. I think that this is exactly what we need. A small little Bricklink designer set. And a, a great pickup for so many people. I love the design of this set. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm going to assume this will be about 50 bucks, Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more. But this is just a phenomenal little set. I cannot wait to get my hands on this next year. This is definitely a pickup. Next up here is my favorite one. The Forest Stronghold by The Krakenator. What an insane build. I am a massive Lego Castle fan. I have been since I was a kid. Lego Castle, or Kingdoms, I guess. I, I really got into Kingdoms back then, but Castle is a phenomenal one as well. I, I really remember that as a kid. Beautifully designed here, guys. Immaculate. Immaculate. This, this would look so good. Next to the new castle, the blacksmith shop, whatever. This is just phenomenal. And then along with the new medieval market set that's going to come out next year. This is just an insane, insane looking set. The trees there look very good. It matches the castle, of course. The design on this is just flawless, guys. It looks like it's a forestman sort of hideout. You can see kind of a rope slide up there. Not, not rope slide, but a, a zip line. Sorry, guys, my brain today. Like I said, my brain. Got a zip line up there, and it's just, it is so freaking cool. I, I literally cannot get over how good this set is. This set is just absolutely phenomenal. The It looks like a great assortment of figures here. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight forest men, and then a couple... I can't see what Knights that is. I would assume the Black Falcon Knights. Just 
absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to assume this set is going to be a few hundred dollars at least. Uh, probably about three to four hundred dollars is my estimate for this set. But as you can see, guys, this thing will be beyond worth it. This just looks... I, I, I literally can't get over how good it looks. Just take a deep look at that thing for a second. I could sit here and stare at this thing all day and just continue to see more little features like the windows and the walls, the texture on the bridge, the staircase up to the right-hand side of the castle. This is just going to be a set that so many people are going to have to get their hands on. I, I cannot wait to see more. All right, and next up here is the Harbor Master's Office, and this is another one that I'm just going to have to pick up. I'm going to have to pick it up because it is so freaking good. How are these sets way better than anything LEGO releases? I will definitely be picking this set up and doing a review on it here on the channel next year, but this is just incredible. You know how good this will look next to the LEGO Ideas Fishing Store? The, the fishing store... Is just going to look, or is it called the old tackle shop? I don't even remember. I got it so long ago. It'll look so good. And I was about to take apart the old bait shop. That's what I'm pretty sure what it's called. The, the fishing store, whatever. I was about to take it apart because I've had it on display for like four or five years at this point. But I, I held off. I love that set. It, it is so cool. And this will look so perfect next to it. And if you remember the old Bricklink Designer program, I'll have a picture up of it here on the screen real quick. The old Brickling Designer Program fishing boat, the fishing sailboat set, will look incredible next to this. They're just, they're creating their own wave of Lego sets through Bricklink. And uh, I am, I'm completely here for it because they're releasing better stuff than Lego is now. This set is so beautifully designed. Um, the, the docks on it look terrific. I love that it's got part of it on the sandy sort of the beach area, but then it's also sticking out into the water like it should be. I feel like the fishing store should have had that around the side. Instead of just being all in sand, it should have been raised above the water. And this is just going to look absolutely incredible there. Even maybe the lighthouse up near this too, the new Lego Ideas lighthouse. That would look great here too. Like I said, once again, this is just a 100% pickup. Incredible set. I just, I cannot get over how good this thing actually is. Finally, the last one here by Let's Go Lego Brick. This is a work of art at this point, guys. It is a work of art that it, it is so gorgeous how someone has created this. Beautiful. The nice earth tones on this set give it a bigger appeal. Just the nice, subtle, light gray within all. It looks like all four shades of green. Four or five shades of green on there. Your main ones. It, it is, it's immaculate. It, it's really breathtaking to look at. I, I, I cannot wait to have this in hand. It is so perfectly done. Perfectly executed. Once again, covering a concept that LEGO is clearly not touching since they're not doing any new themes like exploration themes or, or pyramids or jungles or what whatever they're 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 not doing any themes that could come into something like this an overgrown lost temple uh from the the olden days which i love to see i love history i love historical sites and uh this is this is just beautiful in representing what a real world lost city temple could look like i uh, i just it, it, this is no longer a lego set and it is a work of art the designers here just blow my mind how they have created this incredible thing and uh i it's just it, it's is really just leaving me speechless looking more at it once again you just could sit there and stare at it and look at the beautiful details to that get really in depth there it looks like it could have the lord of the rings rivendell roof design which is absolutely awesome just so many good things to love here about this set i i cannot wait to get one as always, everyone, leave a comment down below which one of these was your favorite. I'd love to know which one you love the most. Which one would you like to pick up next year? I, I really cannot wait. I know there's a couple Bricklink Designer sets coming out here soon this year, which I should be able to get and put them uh, on the channel. I, I haven't seen them release officially yet, but uh, if they have, I, I might have missed it. But I'm going to try to get my hands on those and have them here on the channel, at least a couple of them. I know there's a medieval one I've got to get my hands on. So... If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out my channel and the videos here that I make. Thank you all for watching here today. I've been working on a big mock, by the way, guys. A big mock. My biggest mock I've ever done, by the way. So, 
in the coming days to maybe even a week or so. There should be a pretty big video here on the channel. So if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later on W Bricks. Ah!